Hello, people. We hope you're having a great day today. For us, every single one of these past weeks was great since we were fortunate enough to watch Heartland Season 15 finally. Everyone we love was ready and present in the new season, except for Ty, of course. And despite his absence, we still enjoyed the season more than the previous one as most of the characters were more joyful and ready to live life to its fullest. Interestingly, though, the first two episodes of Heartland Season 15 were highly focused on Lou as a character, rather than the usual suspect, Amy. Although we have welcomed this slight shift, since it's always nice to see other characters shine as well. Focusing on Lou made us realize that she isn't a very likable character. We discovered that for many of the Heartland fans, Lou was among the characters that were disliked the most. Why though? Why the talented, successful, intelligent, and beautiful Lou is so unlikable? Lou is the older sister of Amy. She is 10 years older than Amy and was in New York, working when the series first started. However, after their mother's sudden death, she moved back to the Heartland Ranch and started a new life there. From the beginning, Lou has always engaged attention with her relationships as she had a very fluctuating romantic life. At first, she was engaged to a guy back in New York who turned out to be wanting to get married to her only because he wanted to rise in his job. Then she decided to date the vet of the ranch, Scott, whom she had a crush on since she was just a teenager. Then, she met Peter and got married to him. However, Peter's business has become a major obstacle in their relationship and they got divorced. Later, she met with Mitch online and started to date him. The couple got engaged and had a blessed couple of years together. And yet, recently, she broke things off with him since she wanted to get back together with Peter. However, that aim didn't work as well, and thus, currently, she is rocking the single life. Well, when we list all of these in a single paragraph, it looks a lot. However, let us remind you that all these have taken place over almost 15 years. Thus, even though she has often enjoyed the partnership with a man, Lou didn't have a whole lot of relationships in her lifetime. The reason why people dislike her isn't the fact that she has lots of relationships. The reason why is her manners in these relationships. Since she was dating Scott, Lou always acted in questionable terms when it comes to her romantic ventures. For instance, people still are angry with her for not working more on her relationship with Scott since many believe to this day that he was the one for her. To be fair, we have to mention that Scott was the one who broke up with her. Nevertheless, the reason behind this was the fact that they were both too busy to hang out with each other. In her relationship with Peter, we saw the same problem arising again, showing us that this is some kind of a pattern in Lou's relationships. Yes, Peter was the one who was away for the most part, but still, people think that the divorce decision was taken so quickly and could have been prevented if both of them were determined to save the marriage. Still, we can claim that in none of these relationships, Lou is the one who is solely responsible for the eventual separation. With Mitch, however, she was all wrong. Arguably the biggest red flag about Lou revealed itself when she was with Mitch. Despite Mitch's constant efforts to be there for Lou, he has never been enough of her. Later on, when Peter expressed that he still has feelings for her, it turned out that Lou was also sharing the same feelings. Thus, she decided to break up with Mitch, which is, in our opinion, is an honorable act. However, afterward, when Mitch decided to leave Heartland due to his heartbreak, Lou unreasonably got angry. At first, we all thought that she was regretting her decision because she realized she was still in love with Mitch. But, no. She regretted her decision because she failed to kick things off again with Peter. Therefore, when Mitch decided to leave, she lost her backup option as well. Many fans thought that this was very shady of Lou as she was so scared of being single that she was feeling comfortable when reserving a guy in the backup. Fans also claimed that this was unfair to both Peter and Mitch, both of whom were genuinely in love with Lou. Another issue with Lou is the fact that she is too ambitious when it comes to her career. Normally, this is a great thing for a woman to have. However, occasionally, Lou reflects her ambitious nature on other fellow businesswomen. This rivalry with others makes her a petty character who is almost jealous of others' success, which is never a good thing. Recently, we saw her struggling with the fact that Jessica was doing great in her new business. Lou got so jealous that she tried to set Jessica up by offering her the dude ranch, where she can't find any customers. Thankfully, Jessica was smart enough to turn lemons into lemonade and has managed to succeed once again. Nevertheless, 
We realized with this incident that Lou has difficulties in acknowledging that there might be other people who are more successful than her, which is very normal. We admire her ambition for the most part, as long as she doesn't try to create an obstacle for another businesswoman. Do you like Lou? Do you think she is unfair to the men in her life? Who do you think she should end up with? Do you admire her ambition or do you think it's too much? Would you describe Lou as a petty character? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.